We just got breaking news from Germany, friends. Tesla already has the approval from the European Union for new Model Y with BYD structural battery coming from Giga Berlin. Now, we have the numbers and the capacity of these batteries and they are a step backward however there is an advantage this is why tesla is using it and this is all about i'm going to tell you in this story so please sit down and listen carefully this is armin haryan from torquenews.com and follow our report please this week new rumors came out of china that the local battery and electric car manufacturer byd would soon start supplying tesla in fact, Tesla Mag was able to confirm that there are already batteries from BYD at Giga Berlin. So there seems to be something going on. A partnership between the two companies, Tesla and BYD, was first reported a year ago and is now apparent. It could start in the near future with the Model Y for Europe. Now, a Model Y with batteries from BYD already has a type approval from the European Union authorities, according to documents leaked today to Tesla Mac, which is the German Tesla publication. I will have the link in the reference, uh, the reference link in the description of this video so you can use. As usual with Tesla, the approval was issued by the Dutch authority RDW. In this case, on July 1, 2022. In the documents, the new Model Y is referred to as Type 005 and internally as variant Y7CR. The capacity of its battery, the capacity of the BYD battery that is going to be used at Giga Berlin in the Model Y, is estimated at 55 kilowatt hours. The range at 440 kilometers. 440 kilometers is 273 miles, friends. Well, it's a step backward, right? In a way, it is a step backward. So far, Tesla has only sold Model Y long range or performance in Europe. But together with this, a variant with rear wheel drive and a smaller battery was registered with the EU and approval last summer. As with the smallest Model 3, Cattle was specified as the battery supplier. The capacity is 60 kilowatt hours for 455 kilometers. So as you can see, that's a little bit more, close to 300 or 285 miles with byd both are decreasing somewhat this is why i said it's a step backwards and tesla max says that same but technically the new battery is interesting for tesla and i'm about to tell you why it's interesting for tesla and what's the advantage because according to the eu approval it is a structural pack wait a minute Tesla wanted to install such a battery pack which forms part of the supporting vehicle structure. Then the production of the batteries in its own 4680 format for it was delayed and the Gigafactory started using the 2170 sales format. So Tesla wants to use the structural packs. You know why? Because they are less heavier. In the BYD seal, a previously unattainable 82.5 kilowatt hours of capacity should be possible for LFP electric cars it was initially unclear why tesla was apparently initially satisfied with the even less capacity for its model y then it's currently well here's why it was in, unclear in the beginning but now we know it the model y with 60 kilowatt hours approval approved for the eu last summer had an official test wave of 2153 kilograms 2153 kilograms with the slightly smaller byd battery the weight drops by 66 kilograms to 2087 kilograms versus 2153 kilograms so it's a decrease of 66 kilograms and you know what weight does for electric vehicles vehicles on the range and the consumption in the combined cycle dropped significantly to 155 watts hours per kilometer now do you see why tesla is interested to use the byd batteries although they seem less efficient but they are more efficient in the way of dropping the weight of the car because they're structural batteries this is armin harayan from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news where we explain electric vehicles and may put them in context and also give us thumbs up like this video share in social media you would be great help friends god bless you everyone and i'll see you soon in our next report and i look forward to your comments in the comments section below.